This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. I'm Pastor Hal Mayer. The streets of Baltimore erupted in violence on Monday night, April 27, just hours after Freddie Gray, who died in police custody, was buried. City and state police were surprised by the violence and lost control as stores were pillaged and buildings burned in several areas. The protests against excessive police use of force deteriorated into destructive riots. Demonstrators threw rocks at police, injuring at least 15. Two seriously and destroyed patrol cars and looted and torched stores. The governor of Maryland declared a state of emergency and activated the National Guard to support police. The mayor of Baltimore declared a curfew from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. The incident was sparked by a meme flyer that circulated widely among city school students via social media. A meme is a digital method of propagating a social idea, sometimes positive, often negative, even encouraging violence. The flyer was based on the film The Purge, which is a movie about what would happen if all laws were suspended. The digital flyer said a purge was to take place at 3 p.m., starting at Mondawmin Mall and ending downtown. Baltimore Police Commissioner Anthony Batts said he understood that a number of gangs met and decided that each group would take out a police officer after Monday's funeral. Baltimore police said that a group of outrageous criminals and lawless individuals attacked police officers. Baltimore City Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake said thugs were destroying the city. She later withdrew that statement. Freddie Gray, a 25-year-old man, suffered a fatal spinal injury while in custody with Baltimore City Police. Little is known about the incident. To the active minds of children and youth, the scenes pictured in imagery revelations of the future are realities. As revolutions are predicted and all manner of proceedings described that break down the barriers of law and self-restraint, many catch the spirit of these representations. They are led to the commission of crimes even worse, if possible, than those sensational writers depict. Through such influences as these, society is becoming demoralized. The seeds of lawlessness are sown broadcast. None need marvel that a harvest of crime is the result. That's Ministry of Healing, page 444 and 445. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching.